On today's video, we're talking all about backing a trailer. So what we're gonna use for this demonstration is a 30 foot travel trailer. And if you've never backed a trailer before, it is pretty easy, but there's some things you need to get down as far as basics go that's gonna help you back a trailer a lot easier. Guys, if you like this kind of content, please stick around, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into this video right now. All right guys, so one of the first things you wanna do is make sure your vehicle is equipped with items that are gonna help you back a trailer. We have this really wide travel trailer that sticks out probably this much further than then each side of the vehicle. So what you're gonna to need to back a trailer like that is some tow mirrors. So these mirrors, you know, they fold up like normal mirrors and then they flip out uh, when you need to tow trailers. But I strongly suggest getting some tow mirrors because when I first got this travel trailer, I didn't have my truck set up with tow mirrors. And it was pretty challenging. Re literally, the mirror was looking straight into the front of the trailer there. I just couldn't back my trailer the way that I should have been able to because the equipment wasn't set up right. If you're gonna be using small trailers, open trailers and stuff like that, then you may not need these, but for an enclosed trailer like this, where you can't see across it or through it, then it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. So get yourself a good set of tow mirrors. That's gonna be the very first step. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find yourself a huge open parking lot. Set up some cones if you need to, that way we can do some maneuvers. And we're gonna go through those maneuvers today and show you some uh, tips and tricks on how to back your trailer and stuff. But even before that, you can use a big parking lot, driving forward, kind of see how your trailer reacts, even, even before you set up the cones. Just do some backing, just freestyle backing to see how that trailer reacts. Because if you're using a short trailer, just any little movement, that trailer is gonna be going everywhere. It reacts super quick when you make adjustments and stuff with the steering wheel versus a longer trailer. We're gonna be using a 30 foot trailer today. It's gonna to react a little bit slower. And then the bigger the trailer or the longer the trailer, it's gonna react even slower. So you need to know how your vehicle reacts. That's gonna be the next thing. So get out there and practice. The next thing up, we're gonna be heading into showing you the different maneuvers. So we're gonna start off with a straight line backing. And this is all gonna be based off of pretty much the CDL testing requirements. We're not gonna set it up to spec. I just got some cones laid out here, but we're gonna simulate a straight line back. We're gonna go into an offset left and right back. We're gonna do some parallel park. And then the last thing we're gonna do is like a 90 degree alley dock. Or you could, you could imagine, let's say I'm pulling into a campsite and I have to back that thing in at a 90 degree angle. You know, it's gonna be pretty tough for people. That is one of the toughest maneuvers that you can do. So you really need to practice some of those. Uh, but other than that, you know, if you're doing a straight line back, we're also gonna show you how to set up for that. Let's say if this was a camping spot or just a parking spot you're trying to get into, how to set yourself up to make that back because setup is crucial. All right, guys, let's head into the maneuvers. And also let's show you some tips and tricks on how to complete those maneuvers as far as like hand motions and stuff on the steering wheel. All right, so we're in the vehicle. I have my mirrors adjusted properly. That's another big step right there is making sure you have your mirror set properly. But you can see how the cone set up in front of me here. We're just gonna go through and start our straight line back. So I'm behind the first set of cones. We're gonna drive all the way through and then we'll start our backing maneuver. Once we get to the end, I'll start describing how you wanna go about holding your hands and stuff on the steering wheel, because there's a couple different methods that are taught out there, but I'm gonna teach you the one that I think is gonna be the most efficient and the easiest to use if you're a beginner. All right, so we're gonna put the truck in drive. We're gonna go ahead and pull through the straight line here. We got cones on both sides, and I didn't put these super close. I mean, if you're brand new, don't put them super close. I mean, give yourself a little bit of wiggle room to learn and then start condensing them in. But you can see in the mirror there, and I'm gonna pull through until my vehicle is past that last set. Okay, we got cones on that side too. All right, so what we're gonna do is I like to put my hand on the top of the steering wheel. You know, there's a lot of people that teach, put it at the bottom here, but Look at this, I mean, my truck isn't even really equipped to put my hands at the bottom. There's a area there that doesn't really allow me to put my hands. So what I like to do, you know, and I do this with tractor trailers and stuff as well, is I put my hand on top of the steering wheel and you know, who drives with two hands? You know, back in a trailer. I mean, especially if you're driving a semi truck where it's a manual, you know, you're gonna have one hand on the wheel. And I'm, I'm holding the camera right now. I'd be doing this with my left hand usually. 
Uh, but I have one hand on the wheel, and what I'm gonna do is put my vehicle in reverse. But what we're gonna do is pay attention to how our trailer's moving. If our trailer moves to the left, what we're gonna do is move our hand in that direction. It's super easy. I mean, you don't even really have to think about it. It's, it's super simple. Uh, so that's all you do. If you see your trailer is moving to the left, move your hand that way. If you see your trailer's moving to the right, then all you have to do is move your hand to the right. So super easy. What a lot of people teach, and you can still do this, is put your hand at the bottom of the steering wheel and whichever way you want your trailer to go is the way you're gonna move it. So if you want your trailer to go left, then you go left with your hand. If you want it to go right, then you go right. So there's, there's different ways to do it, but I think the easiest is definitely to put your hand on top of the steering wheel. You know, I like to think about things logically. Who drives with their hand down here like this? Probably nobody. I mean, maybe a few people on a long road trip. But this right here, I don't really have good control of my vehicle and it's just not natural. I'm used to driving like this. So why not, why change it up? You know, so I like to go with my hand on top of the steering wheel there. All right, let's start our maneuver. So we're right dead center. All right, so what I'm gonna do is kick my trailer to the left a little bit. You can see it going that way. So what I'm gonna do is move my hand in that direction, turn the steering wheel about quarter of a turn that way, and you can see it corrects out. And then I can just kind of move it back to compensate for that. But that's all you have to do. Let's say it cuts right. I'm gonna kick the trailer to the right a little bit. Right, it's kicking right. All you have to do is move your hand to the right. And you see how the trailer's straightening back out again. Okay, another tip is to use both mirrors. That is one good thing about the straight line back is you have cones on both sides. So you can really focus on using both mirrors to ensure that you're within the boundaries of those cones. So I'm just going back now, trying to keep it within the cones. Trying not to hit my camera back there. All right, so we're past the first set of cones now. Super simple, and I would strongly suggest going in the progression that we're gonna go. So straight line back, offset left and right, parallel park, and then 90 degree alley dock. Doesn't get much more easy than the straight line, but it will surprise you if you've never done this before, if your trailer starts going one way or the other, you gotta fix it because you're gonna go, your trailer's gonna kick out and it's gonna go outside the bounds. So this is the first one you really wanna practice. All right, so now that we've talked about the basics of how you wanna position your hand and stuff like that, hopefully that is gonna be the key to getting you set up and being able to do this consistently. Now we're gonna move into doing the offset left and right and we're gonna do the same thing, the same type of uh, mechanics as far as using one hand on top of the steering wheel. So next we're gonna be doing the offset left and right and all I do is set up two different lanes here. See so two different lanes, just utilizing a few different cones. So how this maneuver works is I have the vehicle on this side. So we're gonna pull through as if the right side was a parking spot. We're gonna pull forward and there's no like set, set distance. I would say maybe a hundred feet and then you're gonna stop. But what you're gonna do is wanna give yourself enough room to be able to back over into this side. So we're gonna pull straight ahead and then offset back to the left here. And then what we're gonna do after we're in this lane is pull forward and offset to the right. So this is gonna work on our sight side backing as well as our non sight side backing. So there's a different, different little mechanics here that we're trying to build upon and learn. So this is a great way to learn how to use your mirrors while you're doing that as well. All right, let's get it set up. All right, we got our cone set up. Got the vehicle in drive, let's pull forward. All right, I had to watch out for my camera. But what we're gonna do is pull forward, I would say about 100 feet. All right, 
maybe a little less than that. We don't have to, you can gauge it. The more difficult you want it, don't pull forward as much. All right, so you can see the second lane over there. So what we're gonna have to do is we want our trailer to go that way. So in that case, we want it to go opposite of that way because if you think about correcting it like we did in the first maneuver, we're gonna go towards the way that the trailer's reacting to make it go the opposite way. So this way, if we want our trailer to go left, we're actually gonna go right because it's just backwards. It's opposite of what we did. All right, so let's, what you wanna do is tilt that trailer over in there. All right, and what I'm doing is just moving the steering wheel. You're gonna have to make some big adjustments. That way you can tilt your trailer completely on a 45 degree angle. But you can see back here, I can see my first cone that's in the middle of the parking spots. And that is what we're gauging off of. So looking in my opposite mirror, once I see that the trailer looks like it's gonna be going in line to the side of that cone, that lets me know that I'm pretty good to just straighten out my truck at this point. So what I've done is straightened out my steering wheel. That way it can go straight back at that. And then I know that my pivot point, and we'll talk about pivot point in a second, but I know that my pivot point is gonna be right in the middle of my axles on the back of this trailer. So that way, once it's there, I can see my pivot point, I can see my axles right there at that cone. So now what I'm gonna do, and I can see that I'm in the lane on this other side, is I'm going to go ahead and tilt the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and crank the truck, just like we did the first time, to the left. And what that's gonna do, is you can see the complete side of the trailer going down the lane. All right, and then over here, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten out the trailer. All right, you can see right now, we're perfectly centered within this lane. All right, on both sides, we're completely centered. So what I'm gonna do is center out my steering wheel. And you saw right there, I didn't know whether my steering wheel is straight or not. So I felt the truck move, and I know I need to straighten this thing out. All right, and then the same thing, it turns into a straight line back at this point. So if the trailer's going left and we wanna correct it, we just take our hand and go left. All right, and that's all it is, it's just turned into a straight line back. All right, so that was offset to the left. Let's do offset to the right. All right, so we just completed the offset to the left. Let's go ahead and pull forward and do the offset to the right. So once again, pulling straight forward. This is a great maneuver to kind of learn how your trailer reacts. So with this longer trailer, it's reacting a little bit slower than a short trailer. And when I drive big rigs, I mean, they react even slower. All right, so I can see the parking spot that I want is in my right mirror, and that is what we're gauging for. So once again, what I'm gonna do is go in the opposite direction. We wanna go right. I got my hand on top of the steering wheel. I'm going left. All right. What I'm gonna do, the first maneuver that I'm gonna do to get my trailer at a 45 degree angle to go in to that parking spot is gonna, I'm gonna turn my wheel one full turn to the left. And then if I see that's gonna be good enough, which I think it is, maybe just a, another quarter of a turn, you can see the trailer is tilting out to the side quite a bit. And once I think it's at a 45 degree angle, what I'm gonna do is kind of start straightening out. I can start straightening out and also, because I'm if I think I'm gonna go over the side of it, then I can continue to straighten out. But now in this mirror, now that we have the truck straightened back out, we're sitting at a 45 degree angle, I can see that my trailer's going into that parking spot. I can see the lane again. So you really wanna utilize both mirrors. Okay, and then now I continue to let my truck just kinda of drift. 
And now I'm just gonna take my steering wheel and kind of go with the motion of the trailer. And then kind of turn it into a straight line back in a sense and just even it out the trailer in that lane. So I really can't see anything out of this mirror right now because the trailer is still a little tilted, but I can still see enough in this mirror to make a determination on how far I am away from the cones on that right side. So I can see I'm pretty close on this side on the left and I'm just gonna treat it as if I'm doing that straight line again to where, you know, if my trailer is drifting too far to the left, I'm gonna go left with my hand and that's gonna correct it out. But essentially, we're just doing a straight line back, keeping that trailer straight. So making those small adjustments to keep that straight is all we're doing. And now that the truck is straightened out completely, I can really turn it into that straight line back by just keeping that truck in the lane. All right, we're gonna stop right here. All right, so that was all set left and right. A very good maneuver to learn how to use your mirrors effectively, uh, especially when it comes to having to tilt that trailer at a 45 degree angle. That is somewhat, in a sense, a blind side back because you can't see out of one of the mirrors when you're doing it. So it really forces you to learn how to use those mirrors. All right, let's head into doing parallel park. Okay, for the next maneuver, I have parallel park, and this is gonna be conventional parallel park. So we're gonna be using our right mirror pretty much to make this back. But what I have set up is just a parallel parking spot. So if we walk this way, it's pretty much a U that I've built. It's like a u-shaped box and the vehicle's sitting in it right now so imagine the vehicle's in the parking spot and i've left probably 15 to 20 feet in front of the truck here say about 15 feet and that way that accounts for the length of the trailer and stuff lets you get that thing in there but if you wanted to really practice and make it more difficult by all means move those cones right there forward some that's going to make it a little bit more difficult and then down the back side here just as a reference, I have some other cones set up. All right, so that's on that side. That lets me know this is the parking spot, so not to go too far over. So what you're gonna have to do is take into account rear tail swing. So I'll talk about that in a second. Then I got some cones set up back here. So all it is is a mini U-shaped box here that we're making for our parking spot. One thing you want to keep in mind when you're driving the vehicle, you know, I treat it like the CDL test. Imagine this cone, the line of cones, or imagine there's a line on the ground here. Imagine that is actually a wall, like a brick wall or something. And let's say you're cutting in and the back of your trailer right here cuts across this line. That's our brick wall. You just broke that wall. So that's not what you want to happen. So you really have to focus on making sure you're not breaking the wall, as I like to say when I'm teaching my students. Um, so you really want to make sure that you're staying within the confines of that box and not breaking that wall. So that's what we're gonna focus on is not breaking the wall. We're not going across those lines. We're staying within the boundaries of the cones and we're gonna focus on using our mirrors. All right, let's get this. All right, so we're gonna start our parallel park on our conventional side. So we're gonna be coming from the right and making our back. So we're gonna pull forward right now, get out of this parking spot. Make sure I'm not gonna run over my cones with my trailer. All right, so I'm pulling forward. Once again, making sure that I'm parallel to that parking spot before I start my back. Go ahead and put it in reverse. And you see, I can't see anything out of this mirror. I'm gonna be utilizing pretty much only my right mirror. So what we're gonna do is go to the side of that first cone that starts our parking spot. We wanna get as close to that thing as we possibly can, probably within about a foot. And then I'm just gonna to continue to back my trailer into that spot. All right, and then the truck's starting to straighten out now but the key here is you wanna get deep enough into that parking spot to where you can turn your steering wheel, crank it all the way, 
and then your trailer is going to back straight into the spot but if you don't get it deep enough into the spot it's going to make it hard so that's why i'm looking at my rear axle there to make sure i'm getting close enough okay once i'm really close i'm going to go ahead and crank my wheel to the opposite direction because i want to kick my trailer to the opposite direction now i can see all three cones of my back on the back of my parking spot and I'm watching out for the front cones here you can see the front cones but I'm just trying to ease the trailer into that spot okay now I can start straightening the truck out And now that we're back within the box, we completed the maneuver. So this maneuver really is challenging. This is one of the most challenging ones. We're gonna do a sight side parallel back and it's gonna be a little bit easier. Uh, but this one is really challenging the conventional, uh, the conventional parallel park. It works on a lot of different dynamics when it comes to backing maneuvers. All right, so we're gonna start our sight side parallel park. You can see the parking spots right there. We're gonna drive past it. There's the beginning of the parking spot. And I'm just making sure I'm parallel to that parking spot before I start my back. All right, we're past that first set of cones. So what I'm gonna do, put the vehicle in reverse. And remember, opposite direction to tilt that trailer back into there. So I'm watching my left mirror now it's a lot easier i can really see what's going on making sure my pivot point is right there at that cone i can start straightening my truck out just a little bit but i'm still wanting to focus on getting my trailer deep into that box before i kind of start my uh, turn back to kind of compensate for the movements we made once i think it's into that parking spot pretty good and you can look down i mean you can look behind you to see where the cone is right here it's a lot easier because on the other side you couldn't see uh, but now I can kind of see the back of the parking spot in this side so I can kind of gauge how far I am so I'm potentially not backing into something on this side so I'm cutting the wheel back to compensate for the movements we've made so far all right now I'm going to try to straighten my truck out but also paying attention not to go too far outside of that box, not to break that wall on the back side. And now I can see completely how far I am in the box. And if I need to, I can pull up a little bit, straighten out as much as I can. All right, and I can tell, I can see my cone back there in the rear of the parking spot. So I know I'm within the confines of this box and we can get out and verify that too. All right, you can see we're within the confines of the box. So that is the sight side parallel park. And that's three maneuvers down. All we have is the last one, which is probably the most important. That is gonna be the 90 degree alley dock. So we're gonna set up the course and go ahead and do that maneuver. All right, we went ahead and set up our 90 degree alley dock. So all this is, is an alley. I mean, imagine this is your parking spot that you're backing into. So what we're gonna do is only back from our left side, pretty much sight side. So we're gonna have our vehicle. We're pretty much gonna have the vehicle pull through as if we're gonna set up for our maneuver from this side. We're gonna pull out and then start our 90 degree back into this parking spot here. All right, we're gonna start our 90 degree alley dock maneuver. So this is great if you're backing into small confined spots you know where you might have a row of vehicles over here and then you're having to get into that spot over there so anytime there's like a pretty much a tight spot that you have to cut into where you're going to need to make a 90 degree maneuver this is how you're going to do it so essentially we have our parking spot over here on our left and we're only going to do this to the left and then i have my truck 
perpendicular to it. So I'm gonna go out about, I'd say we're about 50, 50 feet away from the parking spot perpendicular to it. And once I'm past that parking spot, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start my maneuver back. All right, we got the truck perpendicular to the parking spot. Now I'm just gonna kind of float it over. You don't wanna turn too sharp right here. You just want the trailer heading in that direction and you want to look out your window to kind of see if you're going to be going too far or not. And then just making those small adjustments to make sure your trailer is tilting into the parking spot. And I can see in my mirror too. It's hard to fully rely on your mirrors for this maneuver just because you can see so much out of your, your driver's window, why risk a safety issue when you can see a lot better, you know? All right, so now I can see that I'm pretty much centered onto the parking spot here, and I can see that I'm not gonna hit on the other side because I'm close to this cone. And then we use the same method for steering as we did on that straight line back. I still can't see any cones in this side. So I'm still gonna rely on this side, but I know if I'm close enough to that first cone, that I'm not gonna hit anything else. And I'm just easing it in, making sure it's centered out. I can start to see some cones over here now. So once my truck is straight, which we're straight now, now I can get, just treat it as a straight line back and make sure I'm centered up in the cones. And now what I'm focusing on is not going over that last spot, the last set on the parking spot there. All right, and I think we're good right here. All right, that was 90 degree alley dock. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to set up for, you know, whether you're gonna be parking in a parking spot or something like that. The setup is critical. So I see my parking spots over there. Let's say I'm going through a campground. I've spotted my parking spot, which is right over there. How do you set up? So I'm off to the left of it right now, but what I'm gonna do is start my turn and we're gonna go past the spot. Pretty much when I'm right here, I'm driving past the spot, I can see it. Now we're gonna turn hard to the right. That way we can bring our trailer and everything in a straight line off to the right. That way we can back straight up into it. But there's a, depending on your trailer and the length and things like that, sometimes you can overshoot it. If you have like a tractor trailer or something like that, you may wanna overshoot it and then compensate back because of the length of the trailer. By going further, it's gonna get the trailer wheels in line with this parking spot. But this trailer isn't too long, so we're only gonna sh shoot past it just a little bit. All right, so I drove past it just a little bit, and now we're gonna start going straight towards the right. Okay, and then I'm gonna straighten out and I should be able to see my cones. All right, I can see them in this mirror. So I shot over just a little too far. All right, but you may do that. So what we're gonna do is turn this into a straight line back. I need my trailer to go right. So we're gonna send it over that way. You see we're angling it into the parking spot. Now I can see my cones on this side, so we're gonna gauge that as well. All right, it's just a straight line back from here. Watching both mirrors. A lot of people don't use both mirrors the way they should. I mean, using both mirrors is really gonna help you out whether you're driving on the road or you're back in a trailer, whatever, really need to use both mirrors. All right, and that's it. So setup is critical. I know I overshot it just a little bit. So depending on the length of your trailer, once again, you know, you're gonna have to play with this a little bit to see how you need to make that turn. So I should have started my turn as soon as I hit that parking spot and then cut out to the right instead of waiting and and doing it i'm used to driving tractor and trailers i mean you overshoot a little bit and then that gets your rear wheels set up but that's just where you're gonna have to play with it all right guys 
that is how you set up for your maneuver. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this helped you out. If you're new to backing trailers and things like that, I mean, I know it can be challenging. So having some tips and tricks and the know-how to do this kind of stuff is really gonna benefit you when it comes to pulling trailers and things like that. So we went through a bunch of different stuff today talking about how to set yourself up for the back. We went through a bunch of different maneuvers, straight line, offset, left and right, parallel park, 90 degree alley dock. Those are all different maneuvers that CDL drivers use that everyday users that have RVs and just small trailers and stuff can also use to benefit them in uh, helping them maneuver around obstacles and stuff like that. So really it helps to start out on a course like this so you're not out trying to, you know, back into really tight spots and end up damaging your trailer or something like that. So you don't want to do that. So definitely get out there and practice before you go out there and damage your equipment. All right, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe. I'll catch you in other videos. Thanks for watching.